Paltoons makes presentations fun again. Paltoons allows you to create animated cartoon videos without the need for any artistic or video editing skills. You simply choose a style of cartoon that you like, drag and drop it into place, and adjust the duration on the easy to use timeline. Paltoons can be exported like videos or like more traditional presentations. Custom images and sound can also be imported. Paltoons is used in advertising, design, e-commerce, education, and more. Let's learn more about this exciting new tool and how it can be used in your classroom. Paltoons has a number of educational uses. It can be used to create instructional materials for class, as a fun presentation tool for students, or a way to distribute instructional content that students can use and view at their own pace. Best of all for students, their work can be embedded into blogs or other websites. Students who engage in challenge-based learning now have a creative and dynamic way to present their solutions to the world. Paltoons offers a fun, easy way to create animated presentations. A teacher can grab the attention of his or her students when information is presented in a dynamic animation. Students will enjoy creating animations and be more motivated to engage in learning material. Students will also practice important skills in presenting information through a combination of text, video, image, and audio. In the 21st century, these types of communication skills will be increasingly important. Paltoon's dynamic animations are also its greatest drawback. An effective animation requires an ability to combine sound and image with effective timing. Students, especially young ones, could find it difficult to effectively combine the necessary components. They may end up creating a disordered and difficult to understand presentation. The other drawback is that in order to download a video file, you need to pay some money. Paltoons allow students to create professional looking animations that only a few years ago would have cost thousands of dollars and require the knowledge of advanced animation and graphic design tools. Paltoons allow students to not just be consumers of digital content, but become empowered producers of creative educational media. Now let's try making our own. To start, let's look at the Paltoons interface. At the top, we have our basic tools for things like saving, copy paste, and more. We also have the option to import sound or images by clicking here. When we finish, we have multiple options for sharing our Paltoon. Most of our content will come from over here in My Styles. Paltoons come with text, image holders, characters, props, markers, and backgrounds. On the left hand side, we have the Scenes tools. These are much like adding slides in PowerPoint. In the middle, we have the Stage. This is where you will place your images. Once we have some images, we can adjust their actions in the timeline below. Here, we can adjust how long the scene is. We can select an image or character and drag to adjust when the character enters and exits the scene. There are also transitions. Click the transition to change it. Use the controls to review your work. To make a simple animation, we will first import our voiceover. I will then adjust the length of the scene to match it. Then I will select a style a background, and a character. I want my character to enter when he says, Now you see me. By listening to the audio, I can see that he needs to enter at about one second. I want him to disappear right before he says, Now you don't. It sounds like that happens around six seconds. I will drag the end of his timeline to four seconds because the transition lasts for about a second. Now I'm going to add some text. Let's take a look. Now you see me. Now you don't. Great! Now we are ready to export. 
So there we have it, our first pow tune. Created using Powtoon.